Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm back with another 5M video. Uh, today what I want to outline is how to install 5M and how to make it compatible with the trainer. Uh, so essentially what you want to do is go to their main website which is 5M.net and open it up. Once you get here just download the zip file um, and then of course once that's downloaded you'll be presented with this zip file here. Just open it up um, and then what we want to do is mainly extract this to any directory in your computer. Uh, so we're going to go uh, in my C drive we're just going to create a folder and we're going to go 5M multiplayer. Perfect. And we're just going to drag and drop those in there. So all you want to do is just double click, click on 5M. Run it. And it'll go through the installation process, so it'll download everything automatically, so you don't have to uh, go through the files like you did before when it first came out. Uh, so while that's downloading, if you check the link in the description below, uh, you will see a mega link. So open that up, and you will get this file. So this is only for people that do have the Steam version, uh, which you should be at this video if you are looking to get the trainer working, um, because it probably doesn't work for you. Uh, so essentially, download this file if you do have the Steam version of GTA 5. Uh, now the reason being behind that is uh, basically the Steam version that for GTA 5 is not compatible with the trainer. Um, the retail version with GTA 5 is, and this is what we're downloading here. Um, so you want to download that. So it'll take a little bit. So you want to uh, get that going, you know, but probably beforehand. Uh, so now what this is asking me to do is find my location of my GTA installation. So I know for a fact. I've installed GTA 5 in the Steam with Steam, so that's default uh, in your C drive, program files, and if we go all the way down to Steam, open up Steam, we we'll go Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5, and just we'll just go select, and that takes care of that. Now, essentially, this will uh, this will open up, I believe, after we select the yes so we don't want to open well I mean yours will open fine yours will open up uh, but pe me personally since the purpose of this video I don't want it to open so once you have those files the next step would be here too so actually first there's a couple of links in the description below um, you'll take a look at it there's a zipped file uh, they'll contain two files here um, and those two files would be these the components.json and the gml hacks.asi. So we're going to go back into our 5M multiplayer. So create this plugins folder. So create plugins. So you've got lowercase plugins folder. Now we're going to take that gml hacks.asi and we're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it in there. So now that's basically telling the game that's the trainer. Uh, that's a plugin. So it wants to run that. So that'll run the trainer. Now this components file, notice how you have a components file already. This is a modified components file. Essentially it's telling the game to use that trainer. If this components file wasn't modified then the trainer wouldn't work. Uh, the game just wouldn't know it was there. So we'll go copy and replace because we want to replace it, right? So that's done. So once we've done all that, everything's done, we've got the plugins folder, we've got the components replaced, everything's here. Now, hopefully by that point you have this patch file downloaded. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our Steam folder. So we're going to go C, Program Files. Now this is obviously different if you've installed it somewhere else, but this is the default location. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, so important piece of information here. Uh, this GTA 5.exe. Um, if you ever want to run the Steam version again of GTA 5, you will have to replace this with the original one. So what we're going to do is go GTA 5 and we're going to go copy and we're going to go paste. Now just leave that like that. I personally renamed mine just to re retail for short for retail. Anyways, um, so yeah, what you want to do now is once you've made that backup, you'll go to your zip file that you downloaded earlier from the mega link and you're going to take this GTA 5 and you go bam and it's gonna ask you to replace it so move and replace so now we've replaced that so essentially now that's replaced with the retail version of uh, GTA 5 which is compatible with the trainer now the next step is to go update and also take this update folder 
or this update file and throw her in there and wait for it to be done. And once you do that, now I'm not going to replace mine just because I have already and it's just kind of pointless. So your version is now compatible with the 5M with the trainer. So essentially that's how that works. Um, it took me a little bit to get that working, so I know this will probably help a lot of you guys out there who are trying to get the trainer working with your Steam version of GTA 5. So I do hope you uh, enjoyed this video and do come back for more later. And thank you guys for all the support. Hope you have yourself a great day.